Smart Child Zone presents Insects Whether you love them or you are bothered by them, insects are everywhere. You can see them in your garden, on trees, on television shows, and even in zoos. The insects are the largest group of animals. In fact, about 75% of all animals are insects. Insects developed on Earth long before humans did. Today there are about 1 million known species of insect. And scientists are constantly discovering new species. Butterflies, beetles, ants, grasshoppers, silverfish, and bees are all insects. Insects are members of a larger group called the arthropods. This group also includes spiders, ticks, centipedes, lobsters, and crabs. Although there are many ways that insects are different, there are a few characteristics they all have in common. What are the characteristics of an insect? Their bodies are made up of three sections called the head, the thorax, and abdomen. All insects will have a pair of antennae or feelers on their head. They all have six legs connected to the thorax but arachnids like spiders will have eight legs. Some insects have wings connected to the thorax and can fly. Most insects are born or hatch from eggs. Young insects are called nymph. The young of dragonfly and locust. As insects grow they get a new hard outer covering by getting rid of the old covering and growing a new one through the process called molting. Life cycle of insects There are two basic life cycles found in insects. Some insects are born in nearly the same form they will have as an adult. The insect grows and molts, eventually becoming an adult. Grasshoppers and cockroaches go through this kind of growth process. Other types undergo a complete change, or metamorphosis. After they hatch, they begin life in a form called a larva. It is completely unlike the adult form. The larva may look more like a worm than an insect. The larva eats a great deal and molts several times. It then enters a resting stage in a form called a pupa. The pupa's body changes greatly during this stage. It develops all of the features of the adult, including wings and legs. When this stage is complete, the adult emerges from the pupa. The life cycle of a butterfly goes from when the butterfly lays the egg, a caterpillar, which is the larvae hatches from each egg, then the caterpillar later becomes a pupa, which then emerges as an adult after some time. Many insects are helpful to humans and other animals. Some kinds eat other insects that are pests. Insects are also food for other animals. Some insects produce valuable products such as honey, silk, and dyes. Many flowering plants depend on insects such as bees to help them reproduce. As insects feed on flowers, they spread a substance called pollen from the male parts of flowers to the female parts. This allows the female parts to make seeds. Insects live all over the world. They can survive in almost any place where food is available. For instance insects can be found in cold regions, hot rainforests, deserts, mountains, caves, and freshwater. A few kinds even live in salt water. The study of insects is called entomology. For more videos and other useful materials, visit us at www.smartchildzone.com forward slash videos. Register your child and have access to our unlimited number of question and answer exercises. Visit www.smartchildzone.com